mambo ya binadamu yote ilikuwa kinyume na sisi mnajua ya kwamba serikali tuliyounda wakati huo na upinzani waliungana kutupinga mawaziri makatibu machief makomishana walikuwa wanatupinga opinion poll ilikuwa inatengenezwa ya kutupinga hata tukaambiwa hakuna naibu wa rais ambaye amewahi kuchaguliwa kwa mara ya kwanza tukaambiwa hakuna rais amechaguliwa akiwa amejaribu mara ya kwanza hata tukaambiwa na hata tukishinda hiyo kura hatutashinda kwa sababu kuna deep state itaiba kura yetu kwa hivyo kwa mipango na makadirio ya binadamu sisi hatukukuwa ni watu wa kushinda lakini kwa sababu kuna Mungu mbinguni jameni na neno la Mungu kwa Danieli 11:32 inasema wale wanaomjua Mungu wao watakuwa shujaa na watafanya mambo makuu Leo tumekuja hapa ili kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu kama ingekuwa ni mpango ya binadamu ili tuweze kukomesha kukopa pesa kwa sababu tumekopa sasa karibu inafika trilioni kumi. na ni lazima tusimamishe na ili tuweze kusimamisha lazima kila mmoja wetu yule ambaye uko na biashara tulipe ushuru kila mmoja wetu alipe kodi ya serikali ndio tuwe na pesa ya kuendesha taifa letu la Kenya mimi na waomba wa Kenya wote tumeambia watu wa Kenya Revenue Authority wajipange wawache fujo wawache kisirani wawache e, lazima waongee na wa Kenya kwa utaratibu na kwa heshima ili kila mmoja wetu alipe ushuru vile anavyopaswa wakati tunatafuta pesa ya hustlers fund kwa sababu lazima hawa mahasla tuwapatie pesa ili wafanye biashara mimi nawauliza ninyi tutapanga hustlers fund na mkipata hiyo pesa mfanye biashara mkumbuke kulipa ushuru ndio muwe na pesa ya mwaka ujao ndio tuongeze hustlers fund na tuweze kusimamia kama watu wa taifa letu la Kenya na nimalizia kwa kusema hivi mbali na kulipa ushuru mimi na waomba wa Kenya wote ile pesa mnaona tunakopa kutoka China ni kwa sababu watu wa China wanafanya kitu inaitwa saving wako na akiba kila Chinese ukiona China ukilinganisha na GDP China wanafanya saving ya 55% of GDP sisi tuna save 7% of GDP badala ya sisi kwenda kukopa pesa ya wa China ndio tuweze kuendesha biashara yetu ama maendeleo yetu tuanze ku save pesa ya wa Kenya ndio tuweze kuomba pesa ya wa Kenya na tuwalipe interest ili muendelee na sisi tupate pesa ya kuendesha serikali ya Kenya I am looking forward to the day soon enough when we can borrow from the savings of the people of Kenya to run our development instead of borrowing from other countries and that is what holds the future for us i am encouraging the people of kenya as we work together to get our economy out of the mud i am asking every kenyan that we must do two very important things each and every one of us must pay their taxes 
and I have said I am going to lead from the front in making sure I pay my taxes. I have already talked to the Kenya Revenue Authority. They are going to be disciplined. They are going to uh, make sure that they are professional and they will work with every Kenyan. Hakuna biashara ya mutu itafungwa tena ati kwa sababu ya kukosa kulipa ushuru. Kila mutu atazungumziwa kwa njia na taratibu sawa sawa ndio sisi wote tuweze kuwa na pesa ya kuendesha maendeleo yetu. Mimi na wakikishia barabara muko nazo hapa zimekwama yale ma maendeleo yote yamekwama tutazikwamua na hiyo ni mpango yetu hapo ndiyo tunaanzia wakati niliambiwa vile mambo ya uchumi ya livyo na tulikuwa na mkutano wa karibu masaa kumi. nikakumbuka maneno ya kumbukumbu ya torati Kumi na tano, mstari wa sita. Mungu aliwaambia wana wa Israeli nitawabariki mtakopesha nchi zingine lakini nyinyi hakuna mtu atawakopesha nikakumbuka vile vile maneno ya methali 13 na 22 ambayo inasema kwa Kiingereza a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children Na nikakumbuka tena mambo ya medhali 22 ambayo yanasema the borrower is a slave to the lender. Si ni kweli? Mimi nawaomba wa Kenya hivi. Sheria ya Kenya kwa sasa haijatusaidia sana tuwe na akiba. We have a problem and a challenge of savings in the Republic of Kenya. We don't save, yet the Bible tells us that we should. You can never have an inheritance to leave to your children if you don't save. Tunaelewana? Na tulitengeneza seria, mimi nataka nwauliza wa Kenya. Imefika wakati, we must save ili tuwe na pesa ya kuweza kuendesha mpango yetu ya maendeleo tayari nimeongelesha wale watu eh, wa kutusaidia kukusanya ushuru kwa sababu ile ushuru ndio itatusaidia kupeleka Kenya mbele lakini haiwezi kutafutwa vile wanatafuta wakati huu haiwezi kutafutwa kwa kisirani haiwezi kutafutwa kwa fujo haiwezi kutafutwa kwa, kwa kulazimisha wananchi na kuharibu biashara zao na tumekubaliana na wao ya kwamba watakuwa wangwana watakuwa na heshima na tutapanga pamoja na wao ili kila mkenya aweze kulipa ushuru na mimi ndio nitatangulia mbele kulipa ushuru ndio wengine wanifuate